What's up guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be helping my friend set up a saltwater fish tank in his dorm room. It's gonna be a complete surprise. He has no idea it's coming and I can't wait to see his reaction. But first, I wanna give you guys some updates. But first, I decided on a name for my other seahorse. I got a thousand comments on my last video, 95% of which are you guys telling me to shave my mustache. So you may not be a mustache guy. You guys really, don't like this thing. And I'll zoom back out. Yes, yeah, so I read through all of the different name suggestions to the guy who told me to name him Tortilla. No, but I'm not gonna lie, I thought about it. I definitely thought about it. Most people wanted me to name my other pony Poseidon, so that's what we're gonna go with. We got Pegasus and Poseidon. <laughs> I know erectus seahorses are kind of like teenage boys, they like to wrestle and stuff, but I'm pretty sure this is courting, they're literally holding hands right now. I wanna hold your hand. So this has led me to believe that they are a male and female pair, which makes it a little weird that I named my female seahorse Poseidon, but hey, if Kanye can name his daughter Northwest, then I think I can name my seahorses pretty much anything. Besides, you guys do know that it's the male seahorse that has the babies. Gotta put the lid back on. I'm so scared that El Chapo is going to jump. Not much of an update on El Chapo. He changed his main burrow to right here in the front of the tank, and it's literally his throne. Like, this whole tank is El Chapo's kingdom. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. But don't forget about this tank. It's also doing very well. I just want to congratulate my clownfish, Sean White, for winning gold in the Olympics. Sean White, one more hit. Will it be enough? Front side 12. For those of you that don't know, I named my clownfish Scarlett Johansson. The other one, Sean White because they're both pale redheads. You might be wondering what these boxes are. I'm not gonna tell you yet, those are for upcoming videos, but this one I can open. This one is from my friend Josh Pork Sandwich Zoes. Just started making some posters. The only question though is where do I put it? Um, I, th I think that's the best spot for it. Yeah, let's let's put it there. Oh my god, that is bright. Oh my god! Alright, that's it with the updates. Let's get on to the surprise. Gotta bundle up though, because it is freezing outside. Okay, so I'm on my way to the library to surprise my friend Charlie. He usually studies on the fourth floor, so he should be there. I'm gonna be surprising him with one of my spare nano tanks. And the reason I decided to do this is because Charlie is one of my good friends. We hang out, we talk about tanks all the time. And I know he's been hoping to set one up for a while now, so I thought, hey, why not surprise him with a tank for his own room? All right, so I'm in the entrance of the library. You can, sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, I thought this was gonna be a good idea, but I... Yeah. Dude, like, why are you filming me in here? <laughs> why do you have a fish tank in the library? So... This is a 12G video. Yeah, dude, and in this video, we're giving you a tank. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> we're setting it up right now, man. Pack your stuff up. <laughs> Alright. Yo, do we have everything to set it up? Yeah, it's all waiting in the room. So we're ready to set up the tank. This style of tank, it's called an all-in-one. That just basically means there is a filter built into the fish tank itself. All right, so this. Sorry, I got a bunch of stuff in there. This is an example of a tank that is not an all-in-one. And basically what, uh, yeah. Yeah, you, you really didn't need to do that. This is the kind of tank that you would need to put a filter on, so it either had to be a hang on the back filter, or you would need to build a filter into it, like a sump or something like that. There's tons of different companies that make this style of tank. That's the way to go if you're a beginner, if you're in college, you're setting up your first tank. 
have his live rock right here. This is where you get to choose which piece of live rock you want to go in the tank. Yeah, I mean, they all look so good. It's it's going to be hard to decide here. Yeah, we're going to avoid these over here. Yeah, the ones. That might be the winner. Right? That's, that's cool. That's, a lot. that's the one. All right. Everybody run! <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Got the broccoli looking one. This one kind of looks like a dinosaur head. Yeah, yeah that's what I was kind of liking. I like that one. That one does look like a dinosaur head. Wait, that's hold, hold that up. <laughs> That's not even a cleaner. <laughs> All right. This is called aquascaping. Yeah, will that stay there? All right, so here's your sand. So this was live sand, but now it's dry. Throw a nice like inch or two in there. And now it's time to mix our water. Real reason I threw this at Charlie was because this is Fritz salt, which will help us make our salt water. All right, so here we are in the first floor bathroom of our hall. You're gonna take this machine, you hook this up here, then you take the red one, that goes down the drain, and the good one, the blue one, uh, you put in the bucket, and that's gonna be your clean fresh water. It's gonna take like 30-ish minutes. This whole bucket needs to fill up. 20 minutes later. Hey, dude, you're not supposed to drink that. <laughs> oh, that was fresh water. Acting. All right, Charlie. Dude, you're not supposed to be drinking that, bro. So is it is it done? What? The, the water. Oh, no, it's just running on the floor over here. <laughs> Once the bucket is filled with the fresh water, then we're gonna take our salt. Uh, the correct amount of salt for a five gallon bucket of water is one and a half solo cups. So that's it. Nice. Mix it. There you go. All right, so after 10 to 15 minutes, once your water clears up, uh, you need to test it just to double check, make sure that it's at the right salinity. To do that, you use this tool, which is called a hydrometer. Yes, science! Fill it up with water, and ideally, it should read right around 1.025. So we hit the mark, and we're ready to put this water into the tank. Yep, yep. We're gonna go ahead and plug the return pump in. So now we need to set up the filter and cycle the tank. Usually you're gonna put one filter sponge, a bag of carbon, and then what I like to put is a marine pure block, which is just this really porous type of rock and it helps hold more bacteria. So the last thing we need to do is cycle the tank. For that, we have turbo start and ammonia in a bottle. This is beneficial bacteria for the tank yet. So now that bacteria needs a food source and that's what the ammonia is for and the cycle could be complete in as little as a day, um, or it could take like three days or five. Not three, not four, not five. We're gonna wait for this tank to cycle, and then we'll get back to you. All right, so it's been four days now, and the tank is cycled, so we're ready to go get Charlie some fish. We ended up getting super lucky with a nice little pair of clownfish. We took him back to his room and acclimated them before putting them in the tank. And since Charlie's a big fan of the movie Wolf of Wall Street, he decided to name his first clownfish Margot and the other one Robbie after the actress from the film. Obviously there's still a lot that can be added to make this a more exciting tank, but so far it seems that it's been a great addition to his dorm room and always something fun for our friends to check out. One more thing I want to mention is that altogether this whole setup only cost about $100. You're going to be very limited with such a small tank, but if you're a college student and you just can't have something massive, something like this would be a very good and affordable option. Also, the first winner of the saltwaterfish.com giveaway is David Tosh, so congratulations to you. I will be shooting you an email. Saltwaterfish.com is going to pick the second winner. They will be announcing it through their newsletter. Finally, I'll give you guys your chance here. If this video gets 5,000 likes, I will shave my mustache. More fun videos coming soon. 
Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, remember to keep those nitrates low. George, out.